Hey everyone, this is Chris, uh, back again with another deck centering around New Dane. Uh, I mentioned this one briefly in the last video, talking about the idea that we are going to use Dane to help put cards in our discard pile, which is great for sort of Noldor synergies uh, and some of the nice things that come from that. So this deck, built with Elrond, Arwen, and Dane, uh, has its goal of playing a bunch of Noldor allies, a couple of good allies that we can play sort of elf friend on top of, and then maybe 10-ish rounds into the quest, uh, we're going to get to a point where we're just going to cycle Lords of the Eldar every round. I'm going to beef up all those Noldor allies that we played. Uh, we hopefully will have three spirit resources available every round in order to continue this. Uh, it does mean that we probably have to give up on Dane's defense boosting, uh, but with Elrond out in order to sort of help us heal and the Lords of the Eldar boost to make Elrond another possible defender, uh, I think we'll be in pretty good shape, assuming we can get there. We're also playing the Ghost of Framsburg, uh, which I have now tried twice this morning. Uh, the first time I more or less immediately threaded out after probably the worst sequence of encounter draws that I could have gotten. And the second time we hit stage three, and I just kept looking for that final loot objective and never found it. So I decided to stop and try again on video. Uh, so if that happens again and we hit stage three and we're just going to loop forever, I will stop playing because it is not very interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's kick it off and see how this goes. So my opening hand is all right. I do have a hidden cache, which sucks, uh, but I have Light of Valinor, which is going to help Elrond be more useful. I have Darren's runes and a Glorfindel that I can discard. So this, this feels pretty good right off the bat. And there's an elf friend, which is fantastic. Uh, so let's play Darren's runes, draw two more cards. Get some elves. I'm gonna discard this Glorfindel. Uh, I can put him over there because the camera actually will pick that up today. I did move things around very slightly uh, in order to hopefully make this recording experience go a little bit more smoothly. Uh, reset the camera settings on my fancy camera, so you should have nice... That's not the hero I wanted to add a resource to. Uh, so you should have nice, hopefully clear focus on all of the cards in play. Uh, we're going to spend two for a Warden of Healing early on. Think to this round for. Now you know what. Let's let's save for that. We'll spend one for Light of Alamor, uh, and I can Eregian Survivor next round. So we're just gonna go with this. I'm gonna send six to the quest. We have two in play. Forgot to switch to one B. And when revealed, uh, all right, that surge and doomed too. I actually really hate that treachery because I only ever see it when there isn't an active location. All right, double moonlit passage makes this choice pretty easy. We'll make two progress on the main quest, we'll travel to a moonlit passage, and we're gonna hope for an objective here. Ooh, all right, so we got an objective and a hazard. That is actually a pretty sweet start. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll just shift everything down so there's a little more space. I can't drop my threat very far, which could be a challenge, but I don't have any uh, Elrond's councils yet. We traveled there, so that's good. Engage this evil specter, uh, and the main location is not dark. So Dane is going to defend three defense up against four attack. Attacking enemy gets plus one. Uh, so Dane's going to take two right now, which I can heal with the Warden. I have a Glorfindel in the bin. I think I just want to mill, so one, two, three. Well, there's Lords of the Eldar, in case we need it early. And another Glorfindel, just in case we need that early. Take no damage. 
I can't fight back at all, so we're just gonna refresh. Fortunately, 36 heading into round two is possibly bad, because there's a lot of really gnarly enemies that engage around that 35 threshold in this quest, uh, plus another enemy that scales based on your threat. I just drew Elven Light. Uh, so I'm going to cycle Elven Light with Arwen to draw a card. Oof, and I want to play that Treebeard, but I can't. So we're going to spend two for an Eregion Survivor. I think I'm going to spend one for Heed the Dream. One, two, three, four, five. I drew a tree beard, which is a massive ally for my deck. Uh, oof. Of this five, I am going to take Elven Jeweler. I think I have healing on lock right now, and I'm going to be using my resources for the near future with tree beard and other things. Uh, so Eorith is probably not the best choice. I can also pitch Elven Light and one other card in order to get that Jeweler into play for free, which is a pretty solid benefit uh, considering she is a Noldor. Definitely not going to end up with no cards in my hand anytime soon for the Survivor, uh, but at the end of the game it'll definitely happen. I think I do want to put this jeweler into play, uh, discarding Elven Light and Elf Friend. I have more copies of Elf Friend, and it is definitely the least useful of these big allies in my hand. So let's quest. Uh, three, six. So that's enough to clear immediately, uh, but I think I'm gonna seven, eight, see if we can do it even with whatever this is. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, but okay. So I sent eight up against four, which is enough progress to clear the Moonlit Passage, allowing me to attach Scatha's Teeth to a hero. Uh, I'm going to choose Elrond. His combat stats are not the most useful in general. I need them right now, but uh, once we get rolling a little further, being able to control my threat sort of actively is great. I do have to engage a second specter. I'm not going to travel to this passage. So Dane will defend one. Uh, no shadow means that let's mill one, two, three for the defense. Hey, hidden cash is great. Two resources on Elrond. Uh, and I will have Elrond defend the second Spectre. Pack enemy gets plus one, so Elrond is going to take two damage. And I got a Warden, so we're going to heal two damage. Can't use the teeth to reduce my threat. I can't fight back, so we're just going to move on. All right, so three. Round number three. A couple of Noldor into play. Extra resources thanks to Hidden Cash. Draw my card. All right, well, there's Eorith again, who I think I'm going to keep in my hand. I don't really have a good reason to play her right now. Uh, I do have an Elven Light in the discard pile, so I'm going to get that back. Elven Light draws a card. It's a survivor. Uh, so I'll discard Elven Light to get that resource one more time. Spent. Ooh, hang on. Um, yeah, let's spend two for another survivor. I don't have to quest very hard this round. Mostly just want to be able to fight. And if I... Double defend, I'll have one, two, three, four. Uh, but I will have enough to play Gildor next round. Or Treebeard. Yeah, we can probably stall a little bit longer. So I'm gonna send six to the quest. All right, doomed one, 
Uh, raise my threat by one for each questing character brings me up to 40. Uh, but I can't choose to discard either of these because that will just ruin everything. So six against two is actually for progress, uh, which is too much. So we're, we're moving on to stage 2A. We're going to shuffle back in, and we're going to reveal an encounter card. Well, at least I have chump blockers as I sit here at 40 threat uh, in the middle of round three. At least I think I haven't missed a round counting. We reveal. Uh, okay, Surge and Doomed 2. We. <laughs> okay, all right. The double moonlit passage. Shadow cards. Dane will defend one. Uh, he's going to take one damage unless I mill, so let's mill one. Darren's runes is fine. Uh, Elrond defending against the evil specter. This attack is undefended. It is not. So I'll just use the warden to heal up that damage. I can, I can put one, one on an evil specter. <laughs> so we take up to 43 heading into round number four. Uh, so I basically will not be able to use the doomed option of searching the ruins. Maybe that's okay. Four and one and one. Uh, so let's discard Eorith to put a resource on Elrond. Spend five for Gildor and Glorian. Uh, the defense here is actually very useful. So he might die defending one of these attacks, but it does free up Elrond to sort of drop my threat a little bit. Uh, and I'll spend one of these for a Song of Travel on Elrond so that I can start looping Lords of the Eldar soon. My one card hand. Tree beard. Uh, okay. So we are going to begin the quest phase. So I discard until I get a location. Because I can't doomed two. Forgotten Crypt is actually really the one that you want to see, because it allows you to get back loot cards, which is hugely important in this quest. Uh, so we're gonna send three, six. So we're gonna send nine. All right, one more Moonlit Passage. Really, really cannot reduce my threat. Uh, so nine against eight drops my threat by one. I have to travel to, or makes one progress, doesn't drop my threat. Have to travel to Moonlit Passage. Discover two. Uh, the only hazard is slammed shut. Doomed one and exhaust a character I control. Uh, so let's exhaust Warden of Healing. Could have been much worse. Uh, another one of these would have probably ended this. So, uh, Dane will defend one evil specter. Attack is undefended, it is not. Uh, he's gonna take one by default, so we're gonna mill one, two, three. Bummer. Uh, and Gildor will defend one, and we're hoping it's not plus two. Can it ready until the end of the round? That stinks. Uh, but I can use Elrond and Scotus Teeth to drop my threat to 42 <laughs> before we refresh and immediately tick it back up to 43. <laughs> I should have played Treebeard earlier. Uh, that would have actually been a big help. That's okay. Uh, moving into round five, drawing a card, generating some resources. All right, so maybe we're turning this around. Uh, Gildor can already. So we're going to <laughs> spend four for Treebeard now, finally. Um, 
actually given all these locations, I think we're gonna begin the quest phase and I'm gonna doomed too. I don't have much of a choice. I will play Elrond's Council to drop my threat back down to 42. So we're moving in the right direction. Uh, and that boosts up these survivors. So we're going to quest for three, six, ten, I think. Ten up against six. Uh, all right. So Arwen is now afraid of the dark. That is seven against six. I make one progress. We don't get any more enemies. Boop. Uh, Dane will defend an evil specter. That shadow effect does nothing. Uh, so we're gonna mill one, nice, two. All right, so maybe those two stuck together in shuffling. Three, Darren's runes, but hey, I got free dwarves. Uh, Elrond will defend this other specter. It's a loot. He takes a damage. Warden of Healing heals the damage. Uh, and I have one, two, three. Puts one point of damage on the specter. So, tick up, 43 threat. Headed into round number six. Uh, conveniently, we did get the best loot objective for this deck. Well, actually, the, the card draw one is pretty good, too. Uh, but being able to drop my threat to sort of trend downward despite the amount of doomed punishment that the encounter deck throws out is pretty nice. All right, and I have Treebeard now, so I should be able to kill some stuff. Draw my card for the round. It's a Song of Travel. Uh, let's spend one off of Arwen to get my Elven Light back. But you can't see, because I just put that down off to the side, but it is here. Oh, hands. Okay. So this Song of Travel is useless to me. So I'm going to discard it to put a resource on Arlen. I'll spend one for Elf Friend on Dane. I'm just going to leave that Elven Light in my hand for now. Uh, so next round I will probably play Glorfindel. We sort of need it. All right, beginning of the quest phase, I'm gonna mill until... Nope, I need to Doomed. I think I need to Doomed. All right, so we're gonna... 45. We're gonna send three... Uh... Four, five, six... Seven, eight? Oh, um, Moonlit Passage is not dark, so Arwen's Fear doesn't do anything, so I can make that 11? Should be enough to clear this location. Yes, all right, 11 up against six. 11 up against eight is three progress. Clears this passage. Do I wanna travel to another one? Can I afford it? So I have to deal with this spider, so I think I cannot. So here comes the spider. Just when you thought everything was going well. All right, so Dane is going to defend an evil specter. Either raise your threat by two or return the enemy to the staging area. The staging area is fine. Uh, Dane would take one, but we mill. So one, two, three. That's fine. Gildor will defend against this specter. Tank enemy gets plus one, so he takes two damage. Didn't destroy an ally, so I do not have to raise my threat. Uh, and I guess I will defend the spider with Treebeard. Werewolf deals the damage to Treebeard, and that is fine. Uh, because the spider does not, so Treebeard can ready. <laughs> Use the Warden to heal up all this damage. Use Elrond to drop my threat back down to 43. 
All right. Take up to 44 threat going into round number seven. Refresh all of these characters. <laughs> Draw a card. Well, now I got two element light. One, two, two resources on the tree beard. Uh, so I'm just gonna spend five now for Glorfindel, who's down in the bottom here somewhere. Uh, and I'm gonna pull this Lords of the Eldar up to the top because we're about at the point where we want to do that pretty regularly. I will discard an Elven Light to put a resource on Elrond and reduce the number of cards in my hand by one. Uh, beginning of the quest phase, I'm gonna discard until I find a location. Uh, this cursed tower is gross, but not immediately deadly. All right, so that happens. I have to commit to the quest. We are going to send three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, discarding Elven Light to ready. We're up against 11. Make this 13. 13 up against 11 is too little, so we'll make it 14. I don't have to make too much progress. I just need to survive so I can start murdering some of these enemies. Yeah, so 14 up against 11. When revealed, Doomed to and Surge. Hate that card so much. There's Fran's Shade. Uh, 14 and 14. So that's a push, which hurts a little. Um, can I travel? I think I must travel to this Cursed Tower. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, it has a loot and there are no hazards. So that's actually pretty exciting. I have completely lost track of rounds, so we're just gonna drop that. It's probably for the best, because this could take a little while. All right, uh, so, oh, no, my threat should be one higher because Fram's Shade gets plus one threat for every loot objective you control. And we got one. All right, uh, Dane is gonna defend against an evil specter. Uh, we'll mill one, two, three. Hoping for a hidden cache, didn't get it. Um, we'll have a minor defend against the spider. Minor just gets destroyed. Uh, Elrond will defend against Fram's shade. Okay, can't do any damage to Fran's Shade this round. Elrond is gonna take one. Uh, and let's have Treebeard defend and ready against this evil specter. Also takes one. So we're gonna heal. I have uh, four to deal with this evil specter, which unfortunately gets shuffled back into the deck. Can't do anything about Fram's shade. I can spend one, get back Elven Light. Draw a card. Well, oh, jeweler is good. I actually really like that. Uh, which right, and I can discard the Elven Light to ready Glorfindel, since I haven't done it so far this phase. Now I have six, nine points of attack, which would have almost been enough to deal with Fram's Shade. I think I want to kill the spider. So here's five. And Treebeard puts two on the specter. 
And aside from the fact that my threat is about to hit 48, uh, we're doing better than we could have been. So here we go, 48, heading into some number of rounds. I do have a lot of Noldor in play, so if I decide to start looping Lords of the Eldar, we're in pretty good shape. And I can use Elven Light like I just did to ready Glorfin or to ready Treebeard multiple times. Uh, let's discard this Light of Alinor to put a resource on. No, let's not do that. Save it for questing. Oh no, I had a jeweler in my hand that I forgot about. Uh, so yeah, then I will discard this Light of Alinor for two. I might as well spend one to get Elven Light back right away. So I can probably just drop these two to put the jeweler into play to boost the survivors. All right, beginning in quest phase, I need to discard until I get a location. Hidden Staircase is for threat, which I absolutely hate, but it is not Doomed 2, which loses me the game. Uh, so we are going to quest up against 10. I'm going to send, uh, you know what, let's Lords of the Eldar this round. I saved these resources. I think it's the right time. So we're going to Lords of the Eldar with three. I already used Arwen this round, so I can't abuse that anymore. But now all my Noldor are boosted. So we're going to send four. Um, let me actually pop this jeweler into play. So now my hand is empty. We're gonna send four. These are three each. These are two each, so four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I can't ready Glorfindel. Eight, twelve. Uh, 16, I think is probably right. We're gonna send 16 up against 10. Uh, and I'm going to immediately use Elrond to drop my threat back down to 46. So I don't lose if I get a doomed two. So, uh, count it up again. Four, eight, 16. Poof. All right, 16 against 14, that is two progress. Uh, that is gonna kill me before too long, but I am forced to engage it. So one of these is gonna get the plus two shadow effect, most likely. Only have one loot, so Fram's Shade only gets one. So I'm gonna have Dane defend this Crypt Stalker, which raises my threat by one. That is a haunted hall. I'm gonna mill three. One, nice, hidden cache, two, three. All right, so hidden cache goes and gets me two resources to put on Elrond, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll have a three defense survivor defend against Fram's shade. Attacking enemy gets plus two. So that is two damage. He survives. I have a three defense survivor defend against this evil specter. If this attack is undefended, it is not. So one damage out. Uh, Warden of Healing heals them both. Spend one of these resources to get back Elven Light. Draw myself a card. All right, Arid Luin Miner is not the best one to see, but I can discard Elven Light to ready Glorfindel in the combat phase. I can get Elven Light back, which is great. Well, that could be interesting. Uh, and I have four, eight, uh, nine attack right now, which is just short of being able to deal with Fram's Shade but not short of being able to deal with this Crypt Stalker. <sighs> hmm. 
And I can't really shenanigan anything else. Oh, I had Arwen. Arwen could have attacked to deal with the shade. Uh, but I think it's better if I leave it like this. So I refresh, we tick up to 48. Draw a card for the round, generate some resources, one and one and one and two. Oh, I forgot Dane got boosted by Elven or by Lords of the Eldar too. So, okay, I'm gonna discard Aaron Blue and Miner for an extra resource on Elrond. To use Elrond to play this Galadrim Weaver to shuffle that back into the deck. There's five cards left. One of them is Lords of the Eldar. Actually might have two copies of Lords of the Eldar. Let me check. So if I do, then I could play one now. Only have one. So it's in here somewhere. Means my questing is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but that's all right. We will do the best we can. So I can't Doom 2, so I have to discard until I get a location. It's a haunted hall. All right, so we got 14 threat in the staging area. Still can't send Arwen to the quest. Oh, Arwen's text box is also blank. So uh, I have been cheating real bad. Uh, but we're just going to roll with it because I forgot about that until now. And honestly, if that were the case, I could have probably put it on Elrond and been just as fine. But I would have had to work a little harder for healing. Uh, so let's quest. We're up against 14. I'll send three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, uh, we're gonna discard to ready Glorfindel. 14, we're up against 14, so 15, 16 is gonna be rough. All right, 16 up against 14. We don't thread out, uh, that's for sure. I do need to defend three attacks though. Orphandel can probably survive one. I don't have that many shadow cards, so that actually, I think, helps a lot. I'm not going to be able to kill anything, but that's okay. Oh, and I don't have any healing this round. All right, so Elrond is going to drop my threat. Down to 46. Desperately need that. Uh, Dane is going to defend this evil specter. It's the only one that could really hurt everything badly. Uh, no shadow effect. I am still going to mill three. One, two, three. Oh, there's Lords of the Eldar. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's spend three for Lords of the Eldar right now. No, that's that's no good. Because um, I need to be able to have it for questing next round in order for any of this to make any sense. Glorfindel defend against Fram's Shade. I put three damage on him. Discard Elven Light to ready Glorfindel. Uh, Treebeard defends against the spider, takes no damage. And I have one, five, eight attack right now. I don't want to shuffle the specter back into the deck. 
Not really. Although actually we'll discard it anyways, so no big deal. Uh, so we'll kill the Spectre with Treebeard, shuffling him back into the deck. And I have four, which is gonna put two damage on this spider. All right, refresh takes me up to 47 threat. Everybody stands back up. We have outstanding damage right now, which is unfortunate. Um, I think I was going to take the Fram's shade damage undefended. No, I had Treebeard defend, didn't I? So that means Treebeard should have one. All right. Generate some resources. Draw myself a card. That's not a very good one, but it will ready Gorfindel. All right, so at this point, I am definitely going to pay three for Lords of the Eldar, putting it back on the bottom of the deck. All my Noldor are boosted. And we are up against uh, 14 threat. So beginning quest, I'm gonna choose to discard until I reveal a location. So goodbye, evil specter that got shuffled back in. And I have to discard the whole deck, which makes this uh, forgotten crypt that I have not as useful as it could be. But hey, we're holding on. All right, discard until we get a location. No, no. Hidden Staircase is another four threat location. I wish I had the buffer to uh, take the doomed, but I don't, I really don't. So let's quest. I'm uh, gonna send four, eight, discarding Light of Valinor to ready him. Uh, my survivors are at three right now. Send eight, uh, these three are five, four, 13, 14, I need to make up at least 18. Uh, so that, Six is 20. Ooh. All right, saying 20 up against 18. Uh, this could blow up in my face. Sealed, slammed shut, uh, doomed one, okay. Exhaust a character, cannot ready by player card effects this round. Uh, I'm gonna exhaust Arwen, because of all of these, she is definitely the least useful. So 20 up against 18 gets me through the Cursed Tower and one progress on the main quest, Crypt Key. Sure, we'll just put Crypt Key on Arwen so I can now discover one more or one less. I'm gonna travel to Hidden Staircase, get that threat out. I'm gonna discover three, hoping to not see a hazard. Uh, actually, before I do this traveling nonsense, uh, I should exhaust Elrond to drop my threat back down to 46. Some of the hazards have doomed or raised threat. So travel to Hidden Staircase, reducing that number by one. Reveal three, one, two, three. That is no hazards. So traveling to the hidden staircase, forced effect, is going to reduce my threat by four. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, and I immediately have so much more breathing room right now. Steal some shadows. Uh, Fram's shade gets two. Spider gets one. Two cards in my deck to discard. And Dane is boosted. So, uh, we're going to have Dane defend Fram's shade. And before I flip any shadows, I'm going to mill two. So Air Loon Miner pops into play. Lords the Eldar back over there. Uh, so now, Dane is at three, plus one from Lords of the Eldar, plus two from Milling. So we're at six total defense. I have three resources, so I'm going to play Lords of the Eldar again, making Dane seven defense. Mill one more, because I've only done it twice. So now Dane is eight defense up against this five attack Fram's Shade. Uh, shadows either raise your threat by two or return attacking enemy to the staging area. Um, I think at this point, Doomed 2 is better. So back to 44. Uh, now that I've played Lords of the Eldar twice, so I need. Five, nine. I need all of these characters to get rid of Fram's Shade right now. Uh, so let's have Erloon Miner defend against the Giant Spider. Attacking Enemy makes an additional attack against you after this one, so that the Miner is gone. That's, yeah, that's my pile. All right, so I will have Gildor defend against the spider's second attack, and we'll deal with Fram's shade for another round. This shadow is nothing, so Gildor is fine, uh, but I only have enough combat strength to clear the spider. Which I actually could have done with Treebeard, and then Glorfindel wouldn't have been enough to do anything to Fram's shade anyways. Uh, but all right. Use the Warden of Healing to heal my allies. Tick up to 45 threat, <laughs> which is a number that feels very survivable in comparison to, uh, what were we at, 48, 49? So generate my resources. Treebeard can ready this round, which is great. I have no cards in hand. Make sure Lords of the Eldar is on the top, because that's basically what we're going to be doing from here on out. Uh, and we are up against 14 right now. I'm, I'm going to Doomed 2, and I might regret this immediately, uh, but I can still reduce it with Elrond, and there's another hidden staircase that I might be able to take advantage of. They are dark, so Arwen can't quest, and I can't discard cards with her ability. So, Elrond commits to the quest for, uh, we're gonna use Lords of Eldar before any of this happens. All right, so Lords of the Eldar is played. Elrond commits for four. This pile is nine, still up against 14. So we're going to send these, that's 15, uh, plus Gildor for 19. 19 up against 14, here we go. Old Lantern, we loot and draw another one. Another Moonlit Passage. All right, so 19 against 16 is three progress. It's pretty good. Fram's Shade gets two shadows. Uh, I will immediately use Elrond to drop my threat back down to 45. Uh, and I'll have Dane defend against the Shade. So, 4 defense versus 5 attack. So we'll make it 5 defense and 5 attack. And shadow effects are plus 2. So Dane is going to take 2 damage. Which is honestly completely fine. And at this point, I have 2 6, 10, 11, which is just enough to defeat the Shade. 
I can heal up the damage that I have taken. Take up to 46 for the round. Generate these resources again, even though they're definitely going to just be used for another Lords of the Eldar. I'm actually hoping that I will be able to draw Lords of the Eldar instead of milling it with Dane soon, uh, so that I can use Glorfindel more than once per round. But the plan is to play Lords of the Eldar in planning. Commit characters to the quest. I have four, 10, 15, we're up against 16, so here's 19, 20. 20 up against 16, we reveal. All right, Black Bats has surges. Well, all right, 20 up against uh, 21 is gonna tick up my threat by one. I'm gonna use Elrond to drop it back down by two. Uh, actually, hang on. I forgot to do the loop. Oh, I'm losing track of stuff. Uh, this is the magic of doing this on video. Right, so I believe my threat should be 47 because of the failing to quest. Oh no, but I did drop it down with Elrond. I'm gonna raise it up because of this Crypt Stalker. Uh, so Dane is gonna defend. Four defense versus four attack. Attack enemy gets plus two is absolutely fine. So that's two damage on Dane. Uh, and I need nine in order to deal with the Crypt Stalker. So I will have Treebeard defend and pay to ready against these bats. Nothing. Uh, so two, six, 10. Kills a Crypt Stalker who I wish, who I really genuinely wish would go into the victory display, but he does not. So, <laughs> taken up to 47. Generate these same resources again, draw a card. It's Lords of the Eldar, who would have thought? Uh, Tribute has two resources right now. Uh, so let's go to questing, and I have to discard until I get a location. They're pretty much all bad at this point, I think. Also, there are not many left. So here's Curse Tower. All right. So uh, that is, let's stack up maybe a little more nicely. Here's 10. Two, a three, and a four. So 19, classic. All right, so we are going to commit to the quest. Here is three. Um, all right, I'm gonna discard Lords of the Eldar, play it to ready Glorfindel so he doesn't exhaust the quest, just to make this counting a little easier. I have four, 10, 15, 19, 20, 24, up against 19, 24 against 19, we reveal, uh, all right, discover three. One, two, and I have to shuffle all these back up to get the third card. I'm only doing three because of this crypt key. Uh, and this might actually help me, because if I don't get any hazards, I get to reduce my threat. Also probably needed to raise my threat by Doom in order to deal with this cursed tower. Uh, but this is sort of what happens when you're juggling a billion effects and there's just too many things going on. All right, so here's the third. 
I'm gonna flip. That's a hazard. That's a hazard. Um, hmm. All right, so we slammed shut, which dooms me by one and exhausts this Warden of Healing. But I did send 24 up against 19, which means that I will make five progress, one here, four on the quest. At this point, I will travel to Cursed Tower so that I can do the locations. Discover three. Uh, I'll make it discover two. Slammed shut again. Uh, and I will exhaust Arwen. Uh, Elrond is going to drop my threat by two because I desperately need that. And Dane is going to defend against these black bats. Deal of damage to the defender is completely fine. Have plenty enough to kill the bats. All right, tick up to 48. There are so many asterisks on this quest. Draw my card for the round. Generate some resources. Treebeard is at three. At this point, I have to mill until I get a location because I'm at 48. So one, it's another haunted hall. Uh, this stacks up to 20 in the staging area plus whatever we get. Uh, even with Lords of the Eldar, we've basically run out of my ability to push progress. And I probably should have doomed a while ago. Well, all right, but you sort of see what this deck is meant to do. We get uh, a lot of Noldor out. We have a lot of action advantage with the Glorfindel, with Treebeard. I put in two copies of that new player card attachment that I am searching for right now, uh, Valiant Determination, which is absolutely fantastic on uh, Glorfindel Ally. It means you don't have to keep pitching cards in order to ready him all the time. And this is pretty much what's happened to me every time I've played this quest. At some point you just bog down and your threat gets really high and you completely stop making progress. Um, it was a little better when I pushed past this stage very quickly, but I think we ended up here earlier than I should have in this game, uh, which hurts. Although even still, this five threat curse tomb that you can't do anything to while you're sitting and waiting for the third loot card, well, that's not really great. I will say, as a reward for everyone who has made it this far in the video, uh, looking at some clutch key pieces of this encounter set, uh, Fran Shade is not immune to player card effects until you hit stage three. And if you haven't realized yet, uh, what I'm thinking is that there is currently nothing in the game that prevents you from playing uh, a secrecy build, maybe lore heavy, to allow you to try and fish out Fram's shade from the top of the encounter deck, dump him in the victory display, and then just never have to deal with him. He's unique, but most of those cards I think will work for unique enemies. They just have to not have any victory points. So I'm tempted to try that at some point and see sort of how effectively that kind of build will work. Uh, but honestly, I expect that that is so far against the intent of the scenario that it would get eroded away anyways. All right, well, I'm 
cleaning up, gonna go about the rest of my nice long weekend day. Thanks for watching.